Gentlemen, let me be the first to officially congratulate you. You've done it. In a sea of senoritas, you have found the spiciest. She's the one, and now it's time to ask her sassy ass to marry you. And so today, I'm going over 10 tips for the perfect proposal. So the first thing you need to know is that proposals are not a one-size-fits-all type of situation. You gotta decide what's right for you and your senorita. It's personal and you've got to do the legwork but there are some steps that I've identified that you should follow in order to knock it out of the proposal park. Step number one, pick the right woman. <laughs> hey. I'm just saying that this is, in terms of monumental, important decisions, this is pretty much up there with the biggest that you're ever going to make. Step number two. Go back to step number one. Are you sure? I'm just checking. You good? Okay. In that case, move on to step number three, which is choose the date for the proposal. All right, so you got to pick a date for this proposal. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a holiday, a vacation, a special day that's sentimental to the two of you? Maybe the day you met. It could be a random Wednesday in October. Holidays are super popular. Birthdays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, right? The downside is that you lose a little bit of the element of surprise. Sometimes she's expecting it. The upside, however, is you only have to buy one gift. All right, so you got the date. Number four is choose a location. Is it on a cruise? Is it in your living room? Is it out to dinner at a restaurant or in the park? Pick the place. Step number five, and this is the big one, boys. Pick the ring. All right, so first things first, you need to decide what style of ring to buy her. Uh, now, a lot of times, she may help you out with some very subtle hints, like taping pictures of the ring to the refrigerator, text messages with pictures of rings, emails with hyperlinks to rings. Subtle. But your girl may be a little bit more laid back, and you've got absolutely no idea. One thing you could try, a little uh, subliminal sorcery, is when you're walking through the mall, you pass a jewelry store, say, oh, wait, babe, I want to look at watches. You go look at watches. She automatically is drawn to her engagement ring like a moth to a flame. Hmm. What you looking at, babe? See anything you like? <laughs> exactly. Remember, we're trying to get an idea of style preference. If that doesn't work, you can always go with the classic, the simple band with the rock. Now it's time to buy that bad boy. Um, I did a video talking about how to buy bling. All right, diamonds are one of those things that as a dude, we have very little understanding. Cars, sports teams, boobs, we get it. Diamonds, not so much. That video was listed and linked down in the description. Go watch, learn, observe absorb the knowledge that I am imparting on you, my friend. Now, in that video, I talk about an online diamond retailer called jamesallen.com. They were the sponsor of that video. They're also the sponsor of this one. If you are buying an engagement ring, diamonds, earrings, necklaces, jewelry for that matter, and you're not shopping at jamesallen.com, you're losing money because they are able to sell you amazing high quality stones and jewelry for 30 to 50% cheaper than you're going to by retail. They've also got a larger selection of diamonds and loose stones than any other retail shop you're ever going to go into. They have over a hundred thousand stones for you to check out. Now you're thinking, well, I don't want to buy something online if I can't actually look at it. Well, here's where James Allen sets themselves apart from everyone else because they've got this crazy technology where you can zoom in. I'm talking like you can get inside the diamond basically. See it in 360 HD. It's ridiculous. All of their stones are certified they are conflict free and they are giving you a money back guarantee 30 days you buy something you're like oh, I don't know you show it to her she's not wild about it 30 days no questions asked they'll even pay for shipping the other thing that I love about jamesallen.com is that you can actually go on and set your parameters they're like yo I got $300 to spend and they will actually show you the diamonds and the rings that fit into your price range you can choose by cut by clarity by style buying a diamond is scary at least it's scared the shit out of me and um, I wish that I had jamesallen.com when I actually bought my ring. I ended up going into the store. It was super high pressure and it was just not a very fun experience and I felt kind of like I had no idea what I was doing, so that also didn't help. Like I said, guys, there's a link down below where I help you buy bling and understand the nuances of shopping for that rock. Step number six, hide the ring. Step number seven, plan what you're going to say and then practice, practice, practice so you don't choke. You're going to be nervous, right? You're going to be sweating bullets. You're going to be all flustered. The more you practice, 
the more ready you're going to be. And if you totally blow it and screw the proposal pooch, that's all right. You're so cute. Step number eight, decide if you want to capture the moment on film. And if you do, you need to choose somebody that she has never met. So maybe a friend that she hasn't ever met or a long lost uncle that she's never met. But it can't be like your brother. You go to a restaurant, you're all excited, and she's like, oh, there's your brother. Let's sit with him. That's not going to work. Step number nine, execute the plan. And step number 10, hit the knee and pop the question. We've been together for a while now. You've, you've watched a lot of my videos. I, I know some have sucked, I, I know. But some have been solid. And, and I was just wondering if, if you would be interested in, in subscribing to my channel and making me the luckiest YouTuber in the world. <laughs> yeah, I love you.